Our pregame show continues here on the NCW Life Channel, getting a chance to talk with head coach Scott Devereaux before this matchup with Moses Lake here tonight. Well, Scott, first of all, congrats. A couple of wins in a row. You get healthy a couple of weeks ago against the Canadian team, and then you follow it up with a shutout down at Ike. It's never an easy play, especially to go on the road to Yakima. Uh, how you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good. Kids played a really good game that week, so uh, hopefully it keeps on rolling tonight. A couple of pitch uh, shutouts by your defense in a row. Uh, we're going to talk with one of your linebackers coming up here on the pregame show next, but uh, uh, talk about the keys for your defense and the improvements they've made over the last couple of weeks. You know, we played pretty fast. You know, and I think the fact that we played uh, two really good teams helped. Uh, Mount Bouchery game, you know, they were not very good. Yeah. And uh, But Eisenhower's a solid football team. Mm -hmm. And defensively, you know, we just played lights out, really. We'll talk about speed on defense. You're going to be tested here against Moses Lake tonight. They typically have had some speed in the past. Talk about what you know from film study of them and as your prep has been this week. They're still running what they do. You know, a lot of option, a lot of zone read. They're pretty good at it. Quarterback is an athlete. He can throw it. He can run it. Running back is small but built like a brick. You know, can run, runs hard. And just because of what they do, the option stuff, you know, they, they, they burn teams that are undisciplined. So our job this week is to play dis disciplined assignment football. Well, you talked about that on those first two games of kind of doing things a little better execution-wise. Your offensive line must be playing much better football now. They're getting better. Yeah. Yep, every week they're getting better. Um, you know, that's we're seeing improvement. So there you go. Talk about how important it was to get Blauman back and then also the play of your quarterback. So our look pretty good. Yeah, having Nate back is great. You know, we missed him most of the season last year, and uh, he was a little slow getting going this year. So getting him out there getting Mount, against Mount's Butchery and letting him run a little bit was good for him. Uh, he's feeling good. He had a tough game against Ike and ran hard and, uh, you know, popped that one long run. And uh, it's nice to see, you know, it's really nice to see because that's what we know in Nate, that he can right. do those things. Right. Meanwhile, you got a guy as yes, your signal caller back there who's got some pretty good targets uh, with uh, Kuntz and with uh, with uh, Carlson. Uh, I, I know that's got to be something kind of a, almost a security blanket for him. Yeah, he's getting more confident every week, um, you know. And the, his challenge was just just staying even keel. You know, he's a young kid. The first couple games he was sky high, and so now you know the rule is 82 beats a minute. That's where his heart needs to be at, and he plays much better there. So what's the key for you guys for tonight? Uh, key again will be defense. You know, we, we need to limit their running game. Um, so much of what they do is based on that inside run. So we need to stop that and then uh, win first down, get them in second long, because then we kind of know what's coming. And off offensively, we need to execute up front, you know, and just keep improving. Well, best of luck tonight. Keep everybody healthy, most important. Thank you. All right, there you go. Scott Devereaux joining us here on the pregame show. Speaking of the defense, Eamon Haugen, uh, linebacker, is going to join us. Coming up next as we continue with the pregame show next on the NCW Life Channel.